Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over some examples of how to uh, convert uh, data types. Um, for these examples, we're going to convert uh, numeric values to character values. Um, so the data set we're using is this employee's uh, master data set. It just has a wide uh, uh, range of information as far, uh, as far as like in the employee goes, including their name, their job ID, their birth date, when they got hired, their salary. Um, so the variables we're going to use for these examples will be the salary, street number, employee ID, and hire date. And you can see these are all these are all uh, numeric values. We have uh, salary numeric, uh, street mer street number numeric, employee ID is uh, numeric, and let's see, the hire date is also <clears throat> numeric. So first we'll we'll convert the uh, salary variable. So we're going to use the uh, the uh, advanced uh, expressions uh, in the query builder. So we click on query builder. We can move all of our uh, variables over since we want them all. And we go to computed columns. Do new. Advanced expression. Next. And we go to our function. <clears throat> now to convert numeric to char uh, character variable, uh, values, we're going to use the put function. Scroll down to it and then find the put function and just double click it. So the first thing we have to put in is uh, what a uh, variable we want to work with. And then the second value that we put in is our in format, basically the instructions for to SAS on how we want the, out, the data outputted. So we find our, uh, our uh, sal uh, salary variable. Okay, we go down to our tables. We double click salary, and so <clears throat> we want to keep it in kind of a, a dollar looking format. So we have to make sure we have the right the right amount of spacing. So we only want to use two decimal places, and the salary length, if you count them all out right here, the longest one is eleven uh, spaces. So the width is eleven. So we want to use we'll type in dollars to ensure that we have a a currency looking format. And then next is the width, which is 11, and then a decimal, followed by how many decimal, pla decimal places we want. <clears throat> and we can just call this uh, new salary. OK. so. Next, we wanted to convert. I guess we can look at the output first. So we'll close this. We'll run it. <clears throat> then we come all the way down. And we see our new salary. So it looks pretty much just like our, our original salary. Let me make this easier to read. I'll put these next to each other. So there we go. So we have our original uh, numeric salary and now our new character salary. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to work with the uh, street number and employee ID. So we go back to modify task, which opens up our query builder again. Computed columns, click new, advanced expression. Okay, so once again, we're going to use the put function. Okay, and we're using, first we're going to use the street number. Okay, and <clears throat> for this we just need to specify the, uh, the length, which if you see right here, over here in the street number column, the longest length is going to be uh, 4, so we can just do 4 and decimal place. Always include that decimal place, or that decimal. We'll call this new street number. Oops. <clears throat> Finish. And we'll also take care of the employee ID. So we go to advanced expression again. 
Let me just type it in. Okay, so employee ID. And for this, the length, the longest length is a uh, six, the, the width rather. So six decimal. And we close it. Call this just new ID. Click finish. Close. <clears throat> And we can put these next to each other just to make it more convenient to read. Okay. So we see we have here's our original uh, numeric employee ID, and right next to it is now our new uh, employee ID uh, with a character format. And also we can see our street number over here. Here's our original numeric and here's our new character. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do now is change the hire date to a character format. The employee hire date right here is a, a date a date numeric uh, variable. And you can see it's uh, the day hyphen, three letter month, hyphen and four digit uh, year. So we go back to our modify task, computed columns, new, advanced expression again, <clears throat> and we do the put function, and then select our variable, which is employee hire date. Okay, so we want to use a date format, so we type in date, and then we specify a length. Now to make sure that the hyphens come up and everything is in order, we have to use the right length. So from the entire width of it is 11. So we type in 11 in our decimal or period. We go to next and just put new hire date. <clears throat> Click finish, close, and we'll move this next to our original to make it easier to read. Okay, so you can see they're pretty uh, identical. We have our original uh, numeric date, and then now we have our character date. And this is an example of how to convert uh, numeric values to character values using the query.